Hey guys, Saki here from uh, Saki Tech, and in today's video I want to talk about five things that I highly suspect the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is going to have. Now for those of you guys who are not sure when this phone is coming out, they are going to announce the phone in mid-August, and it will most likely be released in August, but it could be September. There are some various sources online that are saying the announcement is definitely going to be in August, but the release, we're not 100% sure, could be August could be September, but it's coming very soon. Now moving on, now as you may or may not know, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is my favorite phone on the market right now. And the reason is its most unique feature, the S Pen itself. Now it's not just some stylus, okay? It offers extremely precise touch and control, so much that you can draw a, uh, a piece of art using it right on your Note 4. Now a lot of people don't mention this, but uh, there's a side reason I like the S Pen on top of its realistic input and that's where I can use it instead of my fingers uh, to navigate through the phone and because I use the tip of the S Pen which is smudge free there's not a single fingerprint that's left over from me navigating my phone I don't know about you guys but I hate fingerprints so if I navigate using the S Pen there's absolutely no fingerprints on the screen at all all right, so let me stop singing praises of the Note 4 and dive into the first of the five things we will definitely come to see on the Note 5. Uh, number one is premium design. Now, the Note 4 itself has a good build quality. Historically speaking, however, Note 1, 2, and 3 had low-class build quality. It was all plastic, and uh, that was a concern for a lot of people that actually liked the Note but just couldn't get over the fact that the build quality was crap, it was plastic. So now on the Note 4 we have the metal rims around the edges, so when I hold the device in my hands it gives me a sensation of holding a premium device. You do have the full letter in the back, this is still plastic, but uh, like I said the texture is nice so there's no problem with this phone as far as build goes. However, it's still not up to par compared to Samsung Galaxy S6, the iPhone, or the HTC One M9. So that's the first thing I think we are going to get. It's going to be an S6-like build quality uh, with premium materials, uh, which will bring this phone closer to what I would call the ideal phone. Number two is going to be a larger battery. So the battery in the Note 4 uh, is pretty large and offers a full day of use with no problems as long as you're, you're using it moderately to heavy use. So moderate to heavy use, you get a full day of use, no problems. Uh, the current capacity is 3,220 milliamp hours. It also has some neat features like the fast charging. So your battery can go from 0% to 50% battery life in 30 minutes if you use the supply charger that comes with the Note 4. It also has the ultra power savings mode which basically transforms your phone into a black and white screen, bare minimum phone, stripped of all the fancy features like the GPS, the video, the camera, and this extends the battery life as much as possible if you only have a little bit left. Uh, if you're stranded, this is the best way to go. Uh, so just to give an example, 10% of battery life in this mode will get you 7 to 10 hours of life. Uh, which is impressive and it's quite an innovative feature. Now that's the worst case scenario, uh, it's for survival only and uh, I would usually expect to use all these fancy features on the Note all the time. So I prefer to have a colorful screen, I prefer to have my GPS on and all that. So expect all these features to remain intact on the, on the Note 5 but expect to get a larger battery capacity. Uh, I predict it will be in the range of 3500 milliamp hours give or take a couple um, couple hundred milliamp hours. Feature number three, a better display. So expect a better display, there's, there, there's no question that's gonna happen. Now the resolution won't change, you're still gonna have Quad HD as the resolution. What is going to be better, however, is the OLED technology that Samsung uses on their phones. Now for instance, the S6 has a Quad HD display, so does the Note 4. However, the screen on the S6 looks better because it's marginally improved over the Note 4. It came afterwards. So to be precise, uh, what makes it better is that you have uh, improved color accuracy. You got peak brightness. 
you've got better contrast and better screen readability in daylight okay so combine all those things on the S6 and it looks better than the Note 4 so that's the improvements you should be looking forward on the Note 5 it may have a screen equally as good as the S6 or even better so we will keep the QHD resolution but we're gonna get an improved screen quality for better viewing number four new and exciting S Pen features and functions now seeing as how the S Pen is the defining feature of the Note 4 expect to see some new and exciting S Pen exclusive features I'll give you three things that I think is gonna happen number one I'm sure the S Pen itself will go through a slight physical redesign number two the pressure sensitivity of the S Pen itself is going to be even better so it's going to give you a more precise writing and drawing experience which I'm sure a lot of people do with their note and number three air command functions will be improved so right now you can bring up the air command menu using the S Pen you just hover the pen over the screen press the button and the air command pops right up and um, you know you get things like the action memo you get things like the screen right on a nice little uh, menu that pops up which is called the air command um, and as you can see the air command menu isn't a full circle yet perhaps on the note 5 it will be a full circle with additional menu options and look that's all I would expect for S Pen but I would love to get some surprises maybe the S Pen will have a built-in laser pointer too now that's not gonna happen and finally number five a better and faster camera is guaranteed uh, not much to say here really the camera note 4 is pretty good uh, you get 16 megapixels and also optical image stabilization right on the 4. But guess what phone has a better camera? The S6, okay? So will Samsung put a camera just as good as the S6 inside the Note 5? Of course, uh, it might be even better. So you will definitely get a better camera that will be faster and will give you much better nighttime shots due to a larger aperture. That's all guaranteed. So that's the five things to expect, alrighty? Uh, now I just hope that we do not lose the option to add external SD card or swap the battery in exchange of other enhancements such as the premium design. So with the S6, due to this beautiful premium design, we did lose those options. So if they translate this design into the Note 5, the same thing may happen and that might piss some people off. So we're not sure if that's gonna happen or not, that remains to be seen for now. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates. And also, if there's anything that you think the Note 5 should have, let me know in the comments below. Just make sure that it's something realistic, not a laser pointer on the S Pen. Have a great day, all right?